By now you know that creating a route in Basecamp is very easy to do. In the last video you learned four ways to create a route. Now let's look at how to modify a route. Hi, welcome back. I'm Easy Moto Tim. Garmin Basecamp has a reputation for being difficult to use. In this video series, we are ignoring that reputation and learning how easy it can be to use Basecamp. This tutorial builds on the last one where we explored four ways to create routes. In this video, we want to learn how to modify our routes so the GPS takes us exactly where we want to go. We'll look at several routing features and at the end we'll load the route to our GPS. Here we are in Basecamp. We have our sample routes folder and I've created four lists. One for each of the examples we're going to look at. We'll modify a route. We'll take a route and split it or divide it. We'll join more than one route into a single route and we'll create a return route. So here in the first example where we're going to modify the route, we've got a couple of ways we can modify this route. I'm going to zoom in here and I want to have the route go through Llano, Texas. The first way to do that is to click on the route to highlight it. It gets bold and you see the arrows and then hold the Alt key and drag to Yano. If you want to see the whole route, you while it's active, you can press Control D. It'll show the whole route. So that took the route up this way and it off of I-10. I wanted us to go back on I-10, so I'm going to hold the Alt key and drag it over to I-10. So now it's going where I want it to go. There's another way to insert a point along the way or modify the route, and that's to use the Insert icon. You click that, and when you hover near the route, you'll see a black line. And that black line connects two waypoints. So whatever you insert is going to be between those two waypoints. If I hover down here, the insertion would happen between those two waypoints. So I am up here. I'm going to click while the black line is visible. That gives me the rubber bands, and now I can click on a road and modify the route that way. Now remember to go back to the hand, otherwise it's going to, every time you click, it's going to put another point. Notice that the rubber band is still showing. This is a bug in uh, Basecamp, and to get that to go away, what I do is uh, right click and recalculate the route. That makes sure that the insert feature gets turned off. After reviewing this video I noticed something on the screen. Let's go back to modify the route using the insert icon. Click on the icon, the black line appears, Click, drag where you want to go. You see the rubber band is still active, so you go to the hand, and it still shows up. But if you wait three or four seconds, that rubber band goes away and it cancels the insert mode. So it's not a bug, it's a feature. Just wait for the insert to cancel. Uh, after you go back to the hand. I don't recommend this second way with the insert button. I think you can do everything you need to do with uh, alt and drag the route. 
Now here's a recommendation I have to make the GPS go where you want it to go. It only works with whatever points you've given it to go along and it will calculate the route on its own using its own internal processor. So to make sure it goes on the roads you want to go on, I put a waypoint after a turn. So I'm going to hold the Alt key and put in a point to make sure that it goes, uh, makes a left turn onto that road. And you want to make it the new point after your turn. If you put it before the turn, the GPS is going to tell you that you're arriving at the point and to make a left turn, the messages will um, talk on top of each other. So the best thing is to put the point after the turn and to do that on um, many places where you, uh, where you make turns. Here's another one where you're changing roads. So put that there like that. In this example, we're going to split a long route into two routes. If I highlight the route and hover over it, you see down here that the total distance is 657 miles. So we'd like to go split it in half around 325 miles. If I hover over the route and wait without moving the mouse, a box pops up and says that you're 328 miles from the beginning and wherever you hover and wait it will tell you how far along the route you are. So this seems to be the place where we want to split the route in two near Lubbock. There is an icon up here it's a scissors and it's called the divide icon and when we point where we want to cut the route in two, we see that the route turns dark and it goes from the previous waypoint to the next waypoint. And if we were to click here, it would split back here at this waypoint here. So we need to first go back to the hand and zoom in here and Alt key and drag to create a point. Then Control D will show the whole route. And now when we use the divide icon, it will split at that new point that we added. And so I'll click and do I want the two routes to share the waypoint? Yes, because it'll be the end of one day and the beginning of the next. So now we have two routes. Dallas to I-27 North. I'm going to change the color. And here's our second route from I-27 to Albuquerque. And if I click here, show on map, we see both routes. Now there's another way to split a route. It works the same way, where you click the hand and right click, split the route here. And it will do the same thing here it will uh, split the route at the previous waypoint. In our third example, I have three routes from Dallas to Flagstaff. And I want to combine them into a single route. To do that, I'm going to click on the first route here and shift click on the last one so all three of them are selected. 
then right click and join the selected routes. Now we know they're not in the proper sequence. So I click on Dallas to Lubbock, which is the one that should be first, and then I click on Lubbock to Albuquerque and move that up, and now we're in the proper sequence and we can click OK. It creates the new route. It says it's been created. Would we like to delete the original routes? Doesn't matter what you answer. I'll answer yes, but there's a bug. It does not delete the other routes that we started with. They're still there. If you want to delete them, you would right click and delete. So that's the simple way to join multiple routes into one. In our fourth example, we want to create a return route. I've created a route from Dallas to Albuquerque, and I want to create a return route from Albuquerque to Dallas. Before I show you how to do that, I want to show you a detail. Um, I put in some points along the way. With center map clicked on, I click on each of the points, and I want you to see that this point is on the northbound side of I-35 and go through each one. That's on the westbound side of US-84, that's on the westbound side of I-40, and then we get to Albuquerque. Control D, show the whole route. Now I'm going to right click on the route and duplicate it. It has uh, duplicating waypoints. Would I like to duplicate these waypoints? I answer no. We'll keep the waypoints as they are. Now, <clears throat> it created the route going backwards, the other direction, Dallas to Albuquerque. It made a duplicate, not the going back yet. So to make it re go the other direction, I right click and invert the route. And I'm going to change the color so we can tell the difference between the two. Now, let's make it red. Okay, so there's our return route and there's our going out route. Now I'm going to double click the route. The other way to invert a route is to use the invert button here on the details box. So let's look at each point. Albuquerque is okay. I-40. Notice that the route is going down and around because it's trying to pick up this point that's on the opposite side. So to fix that, we go up to the move point icon, click that, then we can move this point over to the proper side of the road. And we do that for each of the points that are on a divided highway. And that will fix the route till we get back to Dallas and we're okay. So that's the way to make a return route. You duplicate it and then invert it and be sure to check each of the points so that they're on the proper side of divided highways. Now I plugged in my Zumo 665 and I can put the route, any route, on that device uh, a couple different ways. I can take the route and drag it to the internal storage, either of the SD card or the internal storage of the unit. Or I can go to device, send to device, send the selection to the device. The third way is to go to File, Export, Export the Selection. 
that will open up the file explorer and you can then save a GPX file that you can manually copy to your GPS or you can uh, copy it to the infotainment system on your bike. There you go. Four very simple ways to modify routes in Basecamp. In the next video, we'll work with waypoints. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a comment and a thumbs up so YouTube will suggest this video to others. Remember to look for other videos in this series. If you want to support this channel, please visit the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. Also, many thanks to those who have bought me a cup of coffee on buymeacoffee.com. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. I'll see you in the next video.